Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can declare and use variables, which are stored values that can be referenced and manipulated within a report. However, to use a variable, you must first create it by declaring its existence within a formula. Once you have created the variable, you can then assign or pass values to the variable which it can then store. The variable and its stored value or values can then be used by the formulas within the report. The first part of this process is declaring the variable. This is the process where you create the variable and set its initial values. The first aspect of declaring the variable is defining the data type that the variable will contain. Most commonly, the variable is defined using one of seven simple data types, number var for number values that you want to calculate, currency var for currency variables which you want to calculate, string var for any text characters, boolean var for logical values, date var for date values, time var for time values, and date time var for both date time values. Now in addition to the standard simple data types, there are also other ranged and array data types for a total of up to 26 different types of variables which you can also use for your formulas within your reports. Now next you would need to set the name of the variable after declaring its type. The name can contain up to 254 characters but should probably be very short, unique, and descriptive. They may contain numbers, but they cannot have a number as the first character within the name. Spaces are never allowed in variable names. Also, the name of the variable cannot be identical to any operator or function that's used in Crystal Reports. Also be aware that when you declare variables with the same name and type in more than one formula, they then share the variable and the value. You can define the scope of a variable to determine where it can and cannot be used. In Crystal Syntax, you declare a variable in the formula text window of the formula editor by typing the variable type, a literal space character, followed by the variable name. Now once the variable has been declared, it must then have values assigned to it. If you have no value assigned to the variable, then it will have a blank or zero value depending on the type of variable which you have declared. To assign a value to a variable, you use the assignment operator of colon equals to accomplish this. For example, if you wanted to declare a date time type variable named week after order, to which you wanted to assign the value of the current record's order date field, plus seven days, it could be assigned as follows within the formula workshop. The value of the week after order variable is then set to the order date plus seven. Then you can use the week after order variable in other calculations and formulas where it will use the variable. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.